What's up, everybody? My name is Cheese Ben. Welcome back to Deadly Premonition. In the last episode, we had a lot of cutscenes. We had a nice talk with George at the bar. Basically, we learned about most people's past and parents. Basically, it was basically a family affair about families. We learned about George's family, learned about Emily's family, even learned about uh, York's family. Which was uh, very interesting. But we're going to see what happens next. And obviously, we finished part two of episode two so i guess in one episode because i think i'm going to check it was like seven episodes so it's still a long way from the end and that is a for sure Ooh, cookie chocolate chip cookie previously during the investigation so you want to find out everything there is to know about diane wait i already know so i need to see this again this is it we already know it. Ah, we're in this weird room again. Uh, a lot of doors. Yeah, episode three. Uh, this door? Okay, let's go for this door. That door just lock? I guess so. Uh, this door then. That one locked, okay. We'll go through this one. And then this one again. I think we're, I think we're just going around in circles. Okay, this one. And then this one. Oh, hello. Who are you? You guard? Open this door. There is no turning back. Still want to enter? Yes, I do. It's better than staying here. Isn't that uh the guy with the fucking fucking mark? Very well. Off you go. What was his name? Mr. Stewart. That was it. He's got little things on his neck. Oh, is he remembering? things from this world because they should not exist even if it means losing someone that you love she's gonna turn around and look at us isn't she her face is gonna go ah! oh Jesus that actually scared me Back with a little girl. Whoa! <sighs> okay, with the tree, sapling. Um, root beer. I feel uh, off. Oh no! Okay, no, went too quickly for me to overload. That's morning. It was just a dream. Chocolate. Mmm. I love me some chocolate. Oh, I guess we're gonna have a coffee. Let's see what the coffee says. Can I have a cup of coffee? Oh, he's sitting there. Mr. Morgan, do you want a refill? Yes. Thank you. I love this weird upbeat music. I know we're tired of hearing it. <laughs> is the coffee that good, Mr. Morgan? Coffee is a vital investigative tool. I know exactly what to do now. <laughs> oh, 
Um, okay, am I supposed to be doing something here? Hari sales, yellow, 60%. Yellow, okay. It says to hurry. And the first letter of each line is H A R R Y. Hurry to Harry. Hurry to Harry. Looks like the time that he was talking about has come. Let's go pay the problematic rich boy who owns half of the town a visit. You gonna give me that Polly, cup now? I think I'm going to go see Harry today. Oh, really? He's a little strange, but I think he's the most trustworthy one around here. I think you'll have fun with him. If you say so, Polly, then we probably will. Of course! Now, give me your cup, and I'll give you some more coffee. She's like, give me the cup, you stupid bastard! I'll see you later. <laughs> Oh. Your coffee, Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, what about the coffee? But, Don't you want a refill? Uh, Your coffee. Clean up. Can of tomato soup. Okay, let's get some. All full of. No, no one did. Oh, look, it's a. Uh, what's his face? Kason. Hey, am I still a suspect? Yes. No. Oh. Okay, well, good. But the dog mug. My wife and I have been living separately for over three years now. Diane, she's a single woman, so this shouldn't be a problem. That's true. I feel so bad for Diane, though. Gosh, did, did you find out who did it? No, I can't discuss that. Yes, of course. I, I understand. Why problem? You don't have to tell any of the folks around town about me and Diane, do you? No, I won't do that. But it's a small town. I'm sure the rumors have started already. Nothing to be ashamed of, right? What's there to worry about? Nothing in particular. No, nothing at all. I I'm clean. As clean as the sheets in this hotel. What's with that look? We don't have a problem, right? Kaysen is involved with another woman in town. We can only hope it isn't Emily. Why'd you say that? What? Hey, what the? What? I'm so he walked off down there. Okay, now he is. Okay, whatever. Look at you smiling at you weirdo. Well, let's get let's go to Butts movie. How did you get? A, oh, I actually, should buy some stuff from Parley. Oh, Mr. hi. Morgan. Uh, I want to buy stuff. Let's see what, oh, I can get a new suit if I wanted to. Nah, I'm good. Yes, shotgun ammo. Definitely a yes. Get some more shotgun ammo. Uh, what else? Never really ended up using this. Got cookies, got food. I'm feeling good for food. Yeah, f you know what? Screw it. Let's get a new suit. Oh, it's a blue strip pinstripe suit. I'll put that on when we get to one of those things. Then again, better to be safe than sorry, we'll buy some cookies. As well. So we've got a lot of cash on us. Can I select more than just one cookie? Do I feel like actually... Okay. No, I'll do for now. Let's get to uh, Harry. See you later, Polly. Oh, <laughs> keep pressing the wrong button. Where's it? Where's it? Oh, it's a... Where is it? It's a land... Oh, it's a worm. Ugh. High quality beef. High quality beef will serve... serve okay. Oh, there's Emily. She seems fine and lagging a little bit. Emily, do you know you're lagging? York, I can't find Thomas. Was he here? No, I Maybe Thomas is alone. <laughs> I've been trying, but he's not answering. What about Nick? 
no problem with him. He's calmed down a little. He's still saying he didn't do it. Nick said that Thomas disappeared sometime during the night. He kept calling for him, but Thomas stopped responding. I I'm a bit worried. Oh, I have a... George has asked for permission to search for Thomas. I understand that things have been hard for Thomas, but surely he's just resting at home. Uh, but I'm not against looking for him. Tell George that he has my blessing. Okay. As far as I know, Thomas always calls in when he needs a day off. We're human, and so we are limited. As far as you know, there haven't been any serial killings here before, right? That's right, but that's not... Emily, I'm going to see Harry today. What? Why? We have plenty of other leads to follow, don't we? He did invite me over, though. It would be bad manners not to accept. Are you really an FBI agent? I think the FBI would take a more logical approach to investigations. But Emily, serial killer does not stay within the boundaries of logic. Good point there. Thus, you can't hope to capture such a killer using only logic. That's why I'm going to see Harry. You go with George and find Thomas. Okay, sounds like a plan. Great, thanks. Ugh, I was an idiot for thinking you might be a good pick. I really need to work on my taste in men. <laughs> I think she heard you. Okay, let's get it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a different car. Actually. I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna take this big bad boy. Let's get in the van. How far is Thomas's place though? Map, I guess. Because if it's quite far, I'll, I'll let's see. I'll probably have to see you guys land until we get to the. Yeah, it is very, very, very far. Wait, that's where Tom. Wait, what? Okay, if that's where we gotta go, that's where we gotta go. Not Thomas, Harry. Right, I guess I will see you when we get to. Um, no, wait. Uh, when, when we're where we, well, my brain never really went to when we're at the location we need to get to so see ya for now and here we are the place at hand oh it is a is it built in there because it's in the right here and I'll see in a second what's we do. oh I see this the gate it's the entrance to his place makes sense That is a big ass gate. Mr. Francis York Morgan, finally you have arrived. You are welcome to come inside. I will. This fish is like, huh? Last fish was like, ha! This one's, huh? Oh wow, okay. Alright, alright, alright. Let's get this party moving. Alright, that's not good. Mr. Francis York Morgan, Mr. Stewart has been waiting for you. To the meeting room you shall go to. Okay. So that means I can't save? Oh, that is actually pretty cool. Um, okay. The meeting room is through here. Please be kind. Be sincere. Um, okay, was that like a lock mechanism? mechanism? Okay. Um, hey, yeah, uh, how you do it? Oh, well, it'd be right through here, I guess not. Ooh, oh, another save, you say have. Like reach for the skies. Right, let's go straight to the meeting room. Let's not waste any time. Oh, I think it's actually through that. Was it through this door? I think it is. It's red, so let's go. Oh, it's not gonna slam it open. Or not. 
It's the me and moon is down here somewhere. Through here. Bosh. Oh. Ooh. Um. All right. Oh. Do I need Zach? Something is still missing. We need more clues. Um, I'm guessing we need someone to go in these statues. Mm. Guess we're looking for. Well, there's some statues here, so let's look at these guys. Can't examine you. Can't examine you. I guess we'll go through this door. Oh, hello, hello, hello. What we've got here? We can change suits. We can even take a nice little nap. I should do that, actually. I'm going to put that pinstripe suit on. Wait, no, this is not suits, this is weapons. What am I on about? So I can't change my look. Or can I? Ooh. And shave, but I think he's looking okay. As far as shades go. Ooh, what's this? Aha! Uh -huh. We found one of these things. I guess there's two more to find. I should have slammed these doors open. It's like, let me in, bud! Ooh, another room. But no flowers. Oh, another thing. No, no, number five. Number five. I'm a number nine. And a number five. And two number nines. Oh, oh god. Oh. That's what. Oh, actually, there's a lot. Oh, no, it's just three here. Okay. I need one more to find. Okay, you through here. It wasn't just here. No, it wasn't. How about that? And number six. Yeah, we got three. Now the next step is to figure out which one goes in which. Alright. Um, I guess... Wait, where was the way out of here? It was through here, right? Bash! There we go. Um, well, the usual way is just simple trial and error. If this is the middle one, by logic, it would be number five, right? Yep, nailed it. But here's the tricky part. Which one is actually the first one? Can't be as easy as this one. Nope. You're the last one, I see. Zach, something is still missing. We need more clues. Yeah, I know that. Number six now. There we go. That's the ticket. There we go. We got those umbrellas in. Just got to get one in the other hand. Quite a da dapper fellas we've got here, haven't we? What? Zach, something is still missing. What? We need more clues. Wait, did I? I said, what? I mean, I can't stick in there with these guys. Can I? These guys. Yeah, these all got their umbrellas. Hang on, let's try that again. Maybe I actually can click the wrong thing. Those are all correct, but this one isn't. Yeah, it isn't. How strange. Zach, something is still missing. We need more clues. Wait, do I have any no, okay. Yes, okay, we get it. Yeah, we don't need we don't need the commentary again, thank you. Okay, let's try and find the other umbrella then. Ella, Ella, eh. <laughs> Ooh, have I been in this room before? No, I have not. Uh must be number three then. Okay, number three it is. Oh wait, if it's no, because that well, yeah, that makes sense. Four would go. If that's Six and five, then four would be the logical number, but okay, it's three then. Aha, that means the room is open. Right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, let's go and talk to Harry. And let me in, Bush! I want to talk to you. What you got for me, Harry? Oh, I thought he was going to talk to himself, but no. No, wait, he's... No, he's Harry, isn't he? I don't know which one's which. No, his name is... Is it Harry Stewart? I don't know. Mr. Francis York Moore, 
please have some tea while it is hot? Too much coffee for your body will make it rot. Ooh, some rhymes. You seem well prepared. Almost as though you knew I would be coming today. Mr. Stewart is particular about the best timing for all things. Now please, drink some tea and enjoy the good health it brings. I'm sorry, Harry, but I just don't like tea. What? Tell him he's an asshole. Tea is awesome. Tea is the best thing you could ever drink. Mr. Francis York Moore. You're an ass. Some tea with sugar is what's best admired. By your body that looks so tired. So says Mr. Stewart. Yes, drink up, you dick. Is it is it actually cocaine? Oh, it's oh. Harry, where did you get these seeds? Oh, snap. Is he the murderer? Mr. Francis York Morgan, those seeds were found in our town in a certain specific place. More seeds are there, you will see, when you find that certain space. Come back to me and we shall talk, after you find that certain place. So says Mr. Stewart. Okay, maybe he isn't the murderer. I mean, not this Mr. Harry, so you like to play games. I like to play a game. Mr. Francis York Moore, a hint for you to find this location. It is most crowded and most quiet and gives a cold sensation. So says Mr. Stewart. Okay. All right. So you're not going to talk unless I find this certain place. I'll play along. Ah, that's the end of that. Uh, uh, mean with mm, Harry. Do I end up? Okay. Um, see, this is the last recording for me, so I'm going to save it and see what happens next. This is the last recording uh, for me for the for the week, and obviously this is the five o'clock slot, so the following week could be something different. So we need to just see where this goes before we call it. So we'll just see where the next cutscene leads us. It might need us near a safe one, or it might just start off the game in control of uh, Green Tomato. Zach, let the treasure hunt begin. A crowded place, and yet it is very quiet there. Have you figured it out, Zach? Uh, no. It must be the graveyard. Oh! There's lots of people there, but none of them can speak. You see? So let's get going to the graveyard. Oh, he's good at riddles. Okay. Oh, I can save it. There's a save thing here. All right, all right. Okay, call cool. this an episode. So, like I always say, this this is the five o'clock slot uh, video. So next week will be, I believe, Uncharted 4. So it'll be another week before we come back to this. But that said, I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you have a wonderful day. Guys and gals, in the next one.